Wilson Toyota of Ames, and it's time to talk with Tron. He's Tron, I'm Chris. Tron Smith, Spring Game 2011, coming up on Saturday. We're going to be on the air for not one, but two hours. Two hours? 1460 KXNL, 11 to 1. We're going to be broadcasting live from the Cyclone Gridiron Club's tailgate. So bring your checkbooks, write some checks to the football program, the Gridiron Club, and feel free to bring Tron Smith as many bratwurst as you would like. Hey, um, you know, I'm all game for that. I like to eat. I, I mean, I guess my concern, Chris, is two hours. They, they want us for two hours? Yes, that you is You know how correct. much stuff we can start in two Dude, hours? And we can start a lot, but when we have Austin or not, we're going to try and get Brett Meyer. Ben Lamock, I know, is confirmed he's going to be there. It's going to be like a who's who, as Austin and I called it on the podcast, earlier this week, the GOATs, man, the greatest of all time. We're going to have a lot of them around. We're going to try and get the Godfather, John Walters. Oh, man. And then put the women and children to bed, CycloneFanatic.com, Wilson Toyota, Size House of Trivia, Tron Smith and I are going to dominate. You bring the Save by the Bell trivia my way. Yeah, yeah. Bring it. The men, right? And you know what? Here's the deal. Everybody knows me and Chris. We know everything. We I mean, do. We do. And all you old guys, uh, remember that old guy who attacked yeah. me who didn't like you last year? Remember that guy? I remember that guy. And I told that guy, I said, hey, I'm going to send Tron your way. You know hey, what? You bring it on because we do. We know, trivia-wise, you're going to see CycloneFanatic.com. You're going to see Wilson Toyota at the top of that leaderboard on Saturday night. What's up? And here's the deal. Every, because everyone knows this. Even when I lose, I win. <laughs> yeah. And I dare you at about 11 o'clock on Saturday come up and call him a loser. I dare you. I, you know what? I, I encourage you to. Just remember, life insurance is a good thing to have. <laughs> and Adam Gray can hook you up with that today. <laughs> there you go, I'm always, I'm lo- always looking out for the sponsors. <laughs> Tron Smith, um, again, 11 to 1, 1460 KXNO, KXNO.com for you out-of-staters on Saturday. I mean, from the Gridiron Club. You've been able to go to some practices. They don't let me in because I'm considered media. They don't want me going around writing a bunch of crap. Um, you've been going to practice. I, I've, I've been there. What are, what are some observations? What oh, are man. some things that have stood out to you? You know, you know I, I hate to put things out there, and, and I'm going to twist this quarterback thing. All right. You know, uh, here's the deal. I love Steel. You know what? Not only do I love Steel, I just love the name. Maybe I should say that. I love the name. Any guy named Steel, it's, it's got to be worth something. It's right? a good I mean, name. You know, I can Steel is good. One name is better than that, and that is Dick Buttkiss. That's that's true. That's <laughs> It's a good, to, good way to go out there, Chris. Yeah. But anyway, the guy's name is Steel Jant. I like the name. The kid looks good. And then we got we got Mr. Tiller, Jerome Tiller, everybody that followed me and Chris last year. Uh, I, I think you pretty much know where we stand on, on, on Tiller. I yep. mean, no doubt about it. Let's not put any gray area. You know us. We keep it real. But we're also we're going to give him the opportunity to prove us wrong. I think the kid, you know what? I think the kid understands that someone's there to take his job, and I think he probably wants to keep it. But here's the, here's the sleeper, buddy. Right, big here's sleeper. The, here's what I noticed. Here's the sleeper. Jared Barnett, remember that name. I tell you this: this kid is the kid that no one's talking about. But I tell you, when you see him, he should be in this conversation. Tron, you played some football in Nebraska. Um, this, in a weird way, in a weird way, you know, Taylor Martinez wasn't being talked about at this time last year. He is Lincoln, now, and he ended up starting for Nebraska. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I think the chances of Barnett winning that job are probably a long shot. I think if Jared Barnett wins the job, I don't know if that's the best thing for Iowa State football right now because I hate to think that both of those juniors are that low on the totem pole. But if he's the right guy, if he's hey, the best player. Don't get me wrong. Let's not, let's yeah. not twist We're this not way. Too I'm not saying that that's what's going to happen. What I'm saying to you is don't, don't, don't write this kid off. This yeah. kid is, you know, because we're not talking about him doesn't mean he's a bad. This kid's an athlete. He looks good. His mechanics are good. This kid, may, you know what, just I'm saying, put him in the conversation yeah. because uh, he's, he's no, definitely hey, worth talking about. Tron, you're not crazy. Austin Arnott's told me that for weeks now on the podcast. Uh, other birdies of mine who – or give me information on these scrimmages have told me that. Um, yeah, uh, really looking forward to hear what Tom Herman has to say about Jared Barnett. You're not crazy because this is, this is out there now, and you're right. I think this is a three-man race. Um, James Capello, I don't really know where he fits in right now. He looks to be the odd man out, but like I haven't been to a practice. Yeah. I haven't really seen him, so it's, it's really hard for me to sit here and, and I'll honestly give you that analysis. Tron, you told me before we started recording this, Dude, you should have seen it. The guy is amped up about the running backs. Oh, my goodness. You know what? Cyclone fans, here's the deal. 
Don't, you don't care who's in the backfield this year. Guarantee me when I tell you that. All these guys that you hear Chris frightened about and you hear people talking about, it is the truth, Ruth. No doubt about it, these guys are the real deal. I had the opportunity to see our buddy. You know us. You know me and Chris. We are beeline. We love Chantrell Johnson. Yeah. You yeah. will see this year why we love this kid so much. What? Oh, my. You know what? It's like It's like Chris Beard. Woo, woo. woo. All day long, man. These guys, they all look good. I love Jeff Woody. You know what? When you talk about battering ram, holy smokes! I mean, this kid comes to the that, line and boom, that, he's laying it to you. So, I'm excited. They all look good. Jeff Woody is, you know, he's a guy, it's kind of like Jake Knott in Austin and I. Again, we, we discussed this on, on the podcast earlier this week. You know, when you interview Jake Knott, really nice kid, super nice kid. He talks real well. But you're always kind of guarded. You're, man, you know what? I don't want to tick that guy off. I do not want to get on that guy's bad side. I kind of feel the same way with Jeff Woody because the dude is a bulldozer. You Total always bulldozer. need one. Yep. You know what? I'm watching this kid, and I looked over. I was with one of my buddies. I looked at him. I said, who, do you, who does this guy remind you of? And it's funny. This was an old guy. He's like 157 years old. Kent, I'm sorry, but I had to put it out there like that. What? He says, you know what? Reminds me of, of Tom Rathman. Now, listen. Who? That's a great of that. You remember Tom Rathman, big, big kid? Smith, San Francisco. Big guy. That's what he reminds you of. But one thing I'll tell you this. When this kid gets the ball, he's not only looking to score. He's not only looking to juke and take off. He's looking to hurt somebody. Okay. It's like a, it's like giving a linebacker the ball and say, run to the end zone. This kid is big. He's nasty. And he loves contact. It's going to be fun. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to watch these running backs. They're all good, man. They're all good. I know. And, and Coach Rhodes is just glowing about these guys on Tuesday. That's encouraging. Folks, what you've just experienced right here, take that times about 20, and that's what you're going to get on Saturday with the CycloneFanatic.com Wilson Toyota of Ames pregame show for the spring game, 11-1 to KXNO. KXNO Tron also going to be carrying the game with John Walters and Eric Heft um, starting at 2 o'clock. Good thing is weather forecasts start, kind of starting to come around. It looked nasty earlier in the week. Now they're saying about 60 and sunny, so we'll, we'll take that. They're scared of us. See, I started, you know, when, when this thing hit, yeah, when everybody said Chris Williams, Tron Smith, they're going to be on the radio for two hours, the weather even broke. Yeah. That's a good thing, man. See, you got a little more pool than you thought. Well, and I, I want to encourage this too, Tron. When folks at the high, Size House of Trivia, I heard there's 88 tables. Times that times eight. A lot of Cyclone fans in one area. Uh, come up, say hi. We'd love to talk to you. We're, I'm going to be wearing my polo with Cyclone Fanatic and Wilson Toyota. You're going to have that on? Are you going to rock it? I'll rock whatever we, you need. Yeah. Twins, baby. I'm with it, man. Twins. I, you know what? Well, we look the same is the question. We, mine's, uh, a little, mine's a little tight, man. I mean, mine's a little loose. Yeah, well, you know. Well, kinda, you know uh, I wear a medium and it's loose. Tron wears a medium. Oh, you can't put a medium on. I was going to say, yeah, because you won't make it past my forearm. Hey, but you, here's a great thing. I'm excited. Chris is excited. Here, this Saturday, 11 to 1. This is huge. You know what? If you can't. Here's what's really cool. I got a lot of fans that come up to me and they say, hey, I can't get this station in, in Clear Lake or I can't get this station in other places. You can go online and listen to this thing. Is that correct? That you can is listen live? KXNO.com. There's a little thing up at the top left. You click listen live. And it's I like that. That's, that's a little thing up in the. <laughs> We're all animated today. We're ready. We're really going to be animated. I'm, I'm gonna, excited. I'm going to pop a five hour energy about an hour prior to the program. I'm going I'm to pop a 10 hour energy. Maybe I'll just pop two of them. <laughs> I mean, Boy, can you imagine how amped up you would be? That's great. That's what you, you know what, it's what's, it's to be expected. And you know, if you're in the area and you're coming out to the spring game, hey, come over and find yeah, us. We, it would I, be great to have uh, have you guys come over and just kind of party with us. And uh, we'll, we'll like to take your take on it while we're on the radio live. The good folks at the Gridiron Club are they're being gracious hosts of us. And I believe it's like, don't quote me on this. Well, if you listen to KXNO at 11 o'clock, we'll tell you all the details. But I think they're, they're having a cookout. It's like $10. Uh, the, the proceeds go to the Cyclone Gridiron Club. Really a great event. Uh, you know, we kind of we kind of loosely partnered with those folks with the, um, the recruiting with party. the recruiting party. I mean, they didn't really have anything to do with setting it up, but they helped promote it within their group. And, boy, I tell you what, Jay Chapman, Mike Lacey, Todd Ashby, uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, some really great people at the Gridiron Club. So hopefully we can promote a little bit more to their, their tailgate. And most importantly, trying to be fun for us. It would be fun for us really? to have all those cyclones. And, around. you know, thinking about the Gridiron Club, if you guys haven't had the opportunity to meet Jay and, and, and Lacey and all these guys, these guys are great. For you guys that were at the recruiting party, you know, Jay and Mike were running around. It was a guy with a hat that kept asking you for money. I kept yep. telling Lacey, hey, listen, you can't keep going back. But these guys are great. They're really good. You know, they're, they're, they're just like you. They're big Cyclone fans, and they're happy to do their part. So come out and support them. For $10, is it all you can eat? That's what I want to know. Uh, I don't know. Why don't you find out? You tune in. Chris Williams will find out for you. It better be all you can eat for Tron. Say, I don't hey. think one hot dog's going to fill that, that belly up. 
Yeah, we're, we're going to, you know, I get all you can eat for 10 bucks. Uh, yeah, I, would, I would imagine that that's probably the case. <laughs> Tron, we will see you on Saturday. Get a good night's sleep on Friday because it's going to get rowdy, all right? It's all right. Because I got some big questions, too. And I got we've, some big answers. We've been, we've been fairly positive. We, we tend to keep it positive. I got some big questions about the 2011 Cyclones, and we're going to debate those on That's Saturday. great. We like to keep it positive, but we also keep it real. We do keep no it doubt real. About it. Tron Smith here at Wilson Toyota of Ames 2212 South Duff Avenue. Tron, somebody, they're in the market for a juicy Toyota, a brand new 2011 Toyota, just like that 2011 Toyota Camry that I drove over here today Sweet. to this to the Wilson Toyota lot. We're sitting at the indoor lot right now, so if it's raining, you can still come look at cars. How do they get a hold of you? What's your phone number? It's perfect. 515 215- 232-4081. Just ask for me. And you know what? If you're in the area, stop in. 2212 South Duff Avenue. Stop in. We, I tell you, we all love to, to have you guys come in and drive cars. And just like Chris said, if the weather's bad, we'll just jump inside this nice building. You can look at anything you want, and we'll control the climate. And even if you don't like Tron like that one guy did not last year, <laughs> thanks for watching. You're right. And everybody likes us, Chris. We, we, well, we'd like to We got so. our fans from we, Iowa City. I'm sure that there's probably plenty of haters just, out there. Hey, but, hey. Whatever. If you don't have haters, you're not doing your job.